All right, we're here with Steve Goldner, Senior Director of Social Media for MediaWiz. Steve, Twitter's made some changes this week. What can you tell us about them? Well, so I think the biggest thing that came out is they've introduced the Discover tab. The Discover tab allows you to see articles that are, quote, supposedly picked for you and aimed at your interest. I think they've borrowed um, and integrated this feature from the TweetDeck acquisition. Okay, and when was that TweetDeck acquisition made, and why was that pretty significant for them? Um, I think we're looking back maybe three to six months, if I remember correctly. And TweetDeck is probably the best user interface. Um, their user interface was somewhat poor. As a user, it allows me to segment um, different types of followers so I can follow the people that I'm interested regarding to music, regarding social media, regarding venture capital. So I can line that up and just allows me to piece piece together the various people I'm following. All right. Well, Twitter, the new uh, Discover, didn't get a pretty great reception from you know, marketers and you know the blogosphere. Why do you think that is? Well, so it is their first release of it. And I used it. I thought it was okay. Definitely not great. Maybe not even good at this point because it really didn't tee up the content that was in of interest to me. I think as they grow more and mature, their algorithm is going to be tweaked a bit and it will be more targeted to individual interests. I think if you're putting out a feature that you're saying is specific to one's needs, it's really got to hit that on a bullseye, and I think it fell a little short of that. And what do you think Twitter ultimately was going to do with the Discover? So here I think is the most interesting thing, and I think it is important that they got out a product that was not completely baked. What I think they're ultimately going to do is to turn this into a revenue generation model. So if they can get it down to the point where they're pointing content specific to my interest, I'm probably going to be more apt to accept an ad here or there that goes along with that content. So I think this definitely plays into a revenue opportunity for Twitter. Everyone's been questioning Twitter for so long, what's your revenue model? I think this presents a great opportunity for Twitter introducing a revenue model that is highly accepted by users. Okay, thanks for your insight, Steve. Thanks.